What's up, people? I'm Hakuna Hat. So we today we're gonna go explore Union Island. On the scooters, we're gonna go around the island, see what's there to see, and the little beaches. And how big is the island? We don't know how big is the island. We're Alejo and Andrea, and we've been living and traveling full time on our sailboat Hakuna for the past two years. Well, we are trying to go to our dinghy, but it seems like the cows are all over our dinghy right now. Last week, we arrived to our boat after a three month break, and today we're exploring the beautiful Grenadines. Hakuna Matata! It means no worries! So, this is the bay. There's like a little reef behind us. So, the boats back there, they're pretty protected. And then we have a big reef right in front of us. So it is a beautiful day and we are in Union Island and we are getting our dinghy here. Uh, he's gonna get off the scooters. What do you think? Very nice. It's so beautiful, right? We're about to see places. <laughs> if they're scary or not. <laughs> because the spot is beautiful. Mm. I know, but it's, it's, it's in easy. So we decided to leave the restaurant because each plate was $40. And we're not a fan of... Expensive places that don't deliver. Yes. We made it to the town of Clifton. Clifton. So we're going towards the ocean, I think so. See a bunch of goats. Pasa lento que las asustas. Pasa lento, lento. Before uh, coming here to Yunnan Island, we had a lot of expectations as to finding like our dream spot that we were probably gonna live in the rest of our lives because it has kite and it has like beautiful water and reefs and all that stuff. Um, and so one of the, we looked at this condominium, well not to live here, but like among the houses that we saw, they're building it and the cheapest house is at $3 million. Starting at $3, Starting at $3 million. But if you ask me right now, I don't really see the value. It seems like the island, I don't know if we came in the wrong time, but there's nobody around. It's empty. It feels, it feels abandoned. abandoned. Yeah, like the houses are just like left there. I don't know what happened. So we just came up the little road and you could see this little peninsula. This is where the, they're gonna be building the houses. And yeah, they're really expensive. Really expensive. Marica. No. <laughs> we got to that end. And before we keep going with today's video, I just want to say that this video is sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, which is a virtual private network with more than 3,200 servers in over 65 locations. What a virtual private network is, is that it is a system that protects your information from wherever you're logging in. It doesn't matter. If you're connecting to a public network, it actually protects your information and it also allows you to connect. Even if, let's say, we're here in the Grenadines, we can connect to the internet as if we were logging in from the United States, which allows us to access websites and content that is exclusive to a certain location. How do we use it, babe? So we mostly use it for our business to keep our first, to keep our information secure and also for those government websites that are locked so we are able to log in from anywhere in the world. We'll connect to a server in the United States and boom, we're allowed to make payments, keeping our information private. That is correct. So make sure you guys check out the link in the description. Check out Surfshark. You can get an 83% discount when you use the promo code Hakuna and also three extra months for free. So make sure you check that out and let's keep rolling the video. So guys, the view from here is incredible. 
Yeah, yeah. incredible. I think you're gonna have to record with your phone. Yeah. So back there you can see Carrier Coon and Grenada all the way back. How do you feel in your scooter? Okay, let's go look. Yeah, I do feel the view is it's stunning. Mira esa. Yeah, it's huge, man. Biggest lobsters that I have ever seen in my life. So we just made it back to the boat. So we didn't have lunch in any restaurant because first, the first restaurant we went to, the prices were really high, like really high, like $80. $60 per plate and then we came back to a to a like little bay of Clifton and we stopped at a pretty nice restaurant but they said that they were only serving dinner today at 6.30 Monday, Monday and Tuesdays they're closed for lunch yes Mondays and Tuesdays the chef soon. is gone for lunch yes so so we're gonna go back in the no, evening another kite spot which is super flat it's supposed to be a lagoon um, it's very protected and we are heading there now it's only a 20 minute sail it's right there and we're going engines off just with the sail which is amazing because it's exactly what we like but we don't get to do enough because the wind is never strong enough for us to go like that Kind of like the strut the small part of the bladder like the rib side just blew up and we don't know exactly what happened to it and we don't know how to change it and the kite school here they don't change it either but what do we do when we don't know how to do something we quit no, I'm we try to fix it. the kite school here does not have anything to repair the kites for some reason i don't know why we're in the middle of nowhere we got super lucky because a couple of years ago we had actually purchased our repair kit we just removed the strut from the kite and it was that the valve actually like separated detached a little bit from the strut so if you're wondering about our garden this one grows like three centimeters by the minute and this ones the ones we planted we don't have anything yet. We only got, oh, we got one little one here. If you have never been to the islands, like the Caribbean islands, you'll be very, very highly disappointed by the things you find in a supermarket. I don't know, maybe it's because we're very spoiled in the United States that we're able to find anything we want. Sometimes they don't, they don't even have tomatoes. Like last summer, they did, you couldn't find tomatoes anywhere in Grenada. And here in this island, you can't find anything in that supermarket. How's the repair going? Taking this one off, which is the old one, mm -hmm. so we can put the new one. On. Nice. Excuse me, how have you liked Union Island? Uh, it's pretty nice, really calm. The the ocean is beautiful, yes. right? The people are super nice. Yeah, that's true. People are super nice. After exploring the island, we kited a few days, but didn't really feel like recording much because we wanted to get the most out of our water sessions. It had been at least six months since we were back at kiting. But at the kite beach, we met great people and enjoyed getting to know them at Happy Island, an island that makes you happy after a famous rum and punch. We met a couple of people from Argentina, three Argentinians and one Canadian, and we met them, they were just kiteboarding on the beach, 
And today we invited them to come over to the boat and so we could go snorkel that rock over there. That rock over there. And then we're gonna sail to the other side. It's called Shantham Bay. And then there's another snorkeling spot there. And then we're just gonna head back to Union Island and maybe hopefully kite surf a little bit. Upon arriving to Tobago Keys, we saw a number of turtles around the boat, so we decided to jump in and explore the underwater world. like I don't know what felt like eternity and then I was trying to follow the turtles and against the current which was hard you're not feeling good what's wrong I have a headache oh man Alejo's not feeling good and we need to search for the actual reefs where we can go diving and actually see well today it's not even didn't see we saw beautiful turtles Massive turtles. The ones we saw were huge. I don't know if you were able to tell in the camera. These ones were a lot bigger than the ones we saw in USBIs, but they were a little more. They didn't want to be next to us. Compared to the ones in USBI where you were able to like touch them, and we'll probably gonna go to the reef after this. Well, not today. Tomorrow, the reef kiteboarding, and then reef. Ooh, what a beautiful day. Another beautiful day here in Grand Dines and today we are heading to the reef that we told you guys about yesterday. Let's go!
So guys, the snorkeling was incredible, but um, just wanted to bring a little bit of awareness here to the coral reefs because we always show you the beautiful things that we find, but it takes us a really long time to find those beautiful things. Like you don't actually encounter, you know, it's now it's easier to find reefs that are dead than actually finding reefs that are still alive. And it's just important to remember that everything, the products that we use, uh, making, making sure that they're eco-friendly products, like from our sunblock, making sure that they're reef safe, uh, you know, the, the everything that we use from the, the shampoos, if it goes to the ocean, just making sure that the products that we use are actually going to keep the reef safe is super important because most of them are dying. Sometimes it's sad that we find just all the time like dead corals and it's so hard to find the ones that are nice and beautiful even though that's what we show you the most because you know nobody wants to see on YouTube uh, footage of a dead coral reef but it doesn't mean that it's not there and that it is the most common type of reefs that we see and the ones that we see the most. We're here in Maru, Maru, I don't know how to say it. Yesterday we kited in the beach back there like in the waves uh, I have a little uh, cut in my foot so I didn't cut kite too much but Andrea kited like three three hours today I'm filling up the tanks so I can clean the bottom we kite it there so on the other side you can see a kite if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and let us know your favorite part in a comment it's a free and easy way to support the production of our videos see you next Sunday